Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show where I offer misguided advice about video games. Game of choice, Hearthstone. My name is Meerkat, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the Crusher Shaman deck. Now, in this match I'm playing against a very aggressive style of rogue, but I don't know that up front. So I throw back one of my Azure Drakes, and I get a card that ends up saving me. Now, how does this engine Shieldmaster save me? Well, because we are playing against a very aggressive style rogue, I drop down this engine Shieldmaster, and since he doesn't use a removal card to get rid of it, he ends up having to trade a couple of his charge cards with it. That in turn fizzles out his rush, and I'm able to pull on a win towards the middle of the game. Now, with the style deck, I notice that I end up playing a lot of late style games, meaning I have about 5 to 10 cards left to draw from in the side pocket there on the right, and uh, I don't know if that's actually a key component of this kind of deck. It's just the way that I end up playing, but I've only played 8 matches and I've lost more than I've won, which means that I really don't understand how to play this game very well, and this deck very well. <laughs> um, but in any case, I'm having a lot of fun, and uh, and yeah, it, it, this is a very popular deck. It's got over 100 upvotes last I checked on Hearthbone.com, so go to Hearthbone.com for more information on it. Now, at this point in the game, he conceals all three of those cards. Oh my god. Ah! At this point in the game, I'm very worried that he's going to kill me, so I go ahead and drop down this engine shield master to do some deflection, and that card right there is the card that ends up winning me the game. I don't necessarily end up killing him with the card, but I am able to curve off the rush. Now, you'll notice that he's going to throw down a, an eviscerate, and he does it not on this engine shield master, but to the card left of this engine shield master. I don't know if that was a misclick. But I think that mistake that he made right there is what ends up saving me the game because he ends up having to trade out those two charge cards. Fast forward a little bit and you're going to notice that our opponent has two cards while I myself have six cards. Great news for us. Fast forward again. Ooh, yeah, elevator music. Dang old man, look at that, I got so many cards I can't figure out which one to pick. Again, that is great news! He's not able to combo that off the extra minion! Yay! <laughs> it's funny to listen to it sped up. Okay, folks. Right there, that is the magic of this deck. That is the one amazing card. Keep in mind your overload, your overload on the bottom right corner of the screen. Um, you don't want to pull that card out on turn five if you can help it. Try to pull it out in turn seven. Get an ancestral spirit onto it, so you'll actually end up using all seven of your mana crystals and hopefully keep it alive. In any case, uh, our opponent is dead, done. He recognizes that he's lost the game, so he's going to go ahead and attack into it, killing himself and giving me the game win in the process. Yay! Da 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 da! Rank 20! I am so good! So good! <laughs> Alright folks, uh, pause the video if you want to take a look at what is in the deck. Also, I've got the deck list posted in the information below. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Check out my channel, YouTube, uh, Meerkat Guy, for more videos. And until next time, my name is Meerkat.